as impossibly faint as the bands of Jupiter are, it was the search for rings around Neptune that proved the most challenging for ring hunters. Neptune was suspected to have rings in the 1980s when the material in these regions blocked the light of a star that was about to go behind the ball of the planet. Using the same technique that had detected the rings of Uranus, astronomers tried some 50 times to find the rings of Neptune. The results were maddeningly inconclusive. Exasperated scientists proposed a radical explanation. Since starlight was occasionally blocked, perhaps there were strange rings around Neptune that only partially encircled the planet. We didn't think that they were complete rings because the blocking of light on either side of the planet was not symmetrical the way it was for the rings of Uranus. Could it be that Neptune had some bizarre and mutant ring system? Ring hunters had never been so determined to solve the mystery, and they had no way to anticipate how bizarre that solution would be. For more than 350 years, the only known rings were the bright and dazzling bands of Saturn. Then, in a space of just two years, starting in 1977, two new sets of rings were discovered. One on Uranus, the other on Jupiter. But the search for rings around distant Neptune dragged on for many more frustrating years. Neptune is very, very far away. It's a great distance from the sun, and therefore there's not much illumination on the ring. In addition to that, no spacecraft went by Neptune until 1989, when Voyager 2 from NASA went by the last planet in our solar system. Voyager 2 was the astronomer's best weapon in the hunt for rings. On August 25th, 1989, the spacecraft got as close to Neptune as any man-made craft ever would. It captured the best images ring hunters had seen of the eighth planet from the sun, an incredible technological feat. It was a challenge. It's like taking a picture of a cat in a coal bin and under moonlight or something, you know. So would they reveal that Neptune had no rings? Full rings? Or the mysterious partial rings that some astronomers had proposed? For more than a decade before the Voyager mission, scientists had tried to detect rings using the light of various stars passing behind Neptune. Some attempts saw dips in starlight, but they were never at the same distance on both sides of the planet, like full rings would be. Neptune was exasperating. We knew there was stuff there, but we didn't know what the configuration was. So when images from Voyager rolled in, ring hunters were thrilled. Not only were there complete rings, but there was something in the rings that had never been seen before. Arcs. The most prominent feature are a set of arcs which only go less than a tenth of the way around the planet. The rest of the ring, very ethereal. Arcs were simply segments of a ring that were brighter and thicker than the rest of the ring. The incredibly small amount of material in the rest of the ring explained why astronomers had not been able to detect the complete rings from Earth. The arcs lie within a full ring, but the matter in this full ring is almost transparent. So we could never see it before with watching it block starlight. The discovery of rings around Neptune meant that all of the gas giant outer planets had rings. It was a reflection of the natural order of the cosmos, because the disk shape of rings is one of the most primordial forms in the universe. The universe contains two sort of fundamental blueprints for objects, and those are spheres and disks. Spin 
is a really important uh, aspect of an optic structure, then it will tend to form into a disk. And so we see disks on every scale in, in the universe. This is why the rings of Saturn can tell us about the origins of a much bigger ring system, the one around our sun. Saturn's rings are a blueprint for the processes that, that give rise to planet formation. If we were to go back in time and visit our own solar system four and a half billion years ago, the, the young sun would have been at the center and it would have been surrounded by a, a disk of gas and dust. And that disk and gas and dust would have had planets forming inside of it. And that whole disk uh, would have looked, to a certain extent, like a system of rings. The first planets began to form in the debris disk. As they grew larger, their gravity cleared out space in their orbits. Debris that was within their gravitational influence was added on or whipped out into space. This is exactly what happened in our own solar system when Jupiter formed, because Jupiter was massive enough to clear a gap in our own disk. In time, the other planets in our solar system formed and cleared out their own orbits, leaving just two spaces for debris, the asteroid belt and the Kuiper belt. Together, they create what amounts to a vast set of rings around the sun. As a blueprint of our solar system, rings help us understand our own beginnings. Yet ring hunters have long wanted to pursue one of the biggest prizes of all, ringed planets in other solar systems. We already know of many planets that have masses similar to Saturn and composition similar to Saturn. And it's a good bet that not all of them, but some of them have spectacular ring systems. They now believe they'll discover the first ringed planet from another solar system very soon, with the help of one of the world's most powerful telescopes, Kepler. Kepler is able to track about 100,000 stars at a time. It was designed to measure the tiniest changes in starlight so that it could detect distant planets that pass in front of a star. When that happens, the planet blocks out a little bit of the star's light, and Kepler can detect that dip. If a ringed planet goes in front of a star, then the rings also block out the star's light, and that signal can be measured by Kepler as well. While Kepler gazes deep into the universe, astronomers are also hunting for a new ring within our own solar system. Four, three, two, one. In 2006, a mission called New Horizons roared off the launch pad. Its 2.7 billion mile journey will take it to the frozen edge of the solar system. If it survives, it will become the first spacecraft to fly past Pluto. Astronomers suspect that the dwarf planet may be the first rocky object found to have rings. Yet there is another ringed planet in our solar system. Its ring is on a collision course with disaster, which could lead to chaos on Earth.